Okay, so this tutorial is to uh, help you use this uh, case study template. And, and this template is uh, made in InDesign. It's an Adobe product. And for those of you that are familiar with Adobe products, uh, this should be relatively easy. But for those that are not, um, this, this is mainly for you. Um, but, you know, for those that are not familiar with InDesign, this is also for you. Uh, I created this template to make it easy uh, for students to identify what is needed in uh, the case study for this particular class that you're taking, um, this architectural drawing class. Um, so let's begin. Um, usual suspects, this is, um, you know, file, new, open, close, save as, save copy. Um, We'll get into these others, uh, particular ones, in a bit. Uh, you won't have to mess with uh, a whole lot. Um, I made it to where it's very minimal effort. Um, and so you'll see as follow. Um, you really don't have to mess with a lot. Um, this is going to be unseen when you print this out. Uh, you can delete it. Uh, I highly recommend uh, you, when you, before you start your project, sa it, keep this saved as template, uh, but file, save as, and then save this as something else. Um, maybe change this to... Um, project there you go keep it keep it like that and then that way you don't have to mess with any of that there we go uh, and so here uh, this is going to be your students work uh, this this is just um, the case study um, so um, I'll let you know what the key study is. So uh, you basically just click in there and it's a text box. So you just type in uh, whatever you need. Um, case study. You get the idea. And so when you're done with that, uh, this is the selection tool to kind of escape. You want to escape out of everything. Um, and I always click off of the uh, the main page, and I zoomed in. I should have told you, told you this prior uh, by Control Plus, Control Minus. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it's uh, Command Plus, Command Minus. If you zoom in, zoom out. Uh, it's um, for those of you that have taken my class. I'm very big on keyboard commands. To take the time to go here and, and come back. It, it takes too long. Um, however, the selection tool and, and making this a, uh, or changing this and then trying to switch out of the tools, it's, um, it doesn't work because it types in the letter V. So I always go over here and then I click out. And so this, yeah, let me go ahead and delete that. And then um, so that is your cover page. You can add other things. Um, so this would be your rectangle frame tool. And what this does is allows you to uh, put in a picture. Um, or you could put in a movie, but uh, you know this is going to be like a portfolio. Uh, so I would put in a picture. Um, and let me go to properties. So this, these little tabs up here uh, mean different things. So this is pages, um, and I'll show you what that means. But right now we're we're checking out the properties of this particular uh, rectangle frame. And right now I just want to um, fill this in. Uh, I don't always like it at 100%. I just like it at 50. Um, it's just too much in my face, but 
what I could essentially do is uh, go right here um, and I could place a picture in there or I could hit control D and for a Mac it is command D so control D and I could toss in any picture um, I think I was working on something else right here so let me go to my desktop um, let's grab there we go and notice how it doesn't fit uh, if you right click go to fitting you can go to fit proportionally or you can go control alt shift C and I don't know the Mac equivalent um, but if you right click on it I'm assuming this is going to be all the same um, um, so I could do that fit content proportionately uh, and I can crop things out uh, because I don't want everything there and I'll use a selection tool there we go and this is how you can crop things out you can make it a little larger than what it's supposed to be and it basically creates like a window into what you're supposed to see and so now I want to resize this in such a way to where I only want to see what I want to see so I want to crop out these other lines and well, let's do a little bit more and make it a little cleaner and there you have it that's nice and clean um, so that's how you can add stuff if you want to add stuff but this is the front page and I don't really want to add that um, so if I want to go to the next series of pages just double click and again you don't need this that's just over there and then you just start adding your content so this is an architecture introduction uh, an architect introduction so yeah, I would introduce your architect here um, probably put a picture of them if you could find a picture or a picture of their work and make sure you um, cite the image in MLA format um, I have a video on how to do that so uh, and some tips and tricks on how to do that uh, really quickly um, so uh, same thing just click on here uh, I already have these windows up or um, these um, rectangle frame tools up and it's just control D and you place your whatever picture you're going to put in there I, I know I I said architect, I probably should have had an architect ready to place, but, um, and then fitting, uh, fit, fill frame proportionately. No, that didn't work right. Uh, fit frame to content, try that. Okay, that works. Um, and then move on. And then go to the next and, you know, control D, same thing. Or find your other picture and then fitting. Right click and then fit frame to content. Oop. Undo. Undo is control Z. Alright. Fitting. Fit, fit content to frame. There we go. So, um, and there you have it. And so, um, we'll talk more about what this means and stuff like that in, in class, but that is, is how you're going to do that. Um, case study. Um, so you just keep going down the line. All the pages are already there for you. This is a template. Fill it up, fill up these words. These are temporary words. 
Um, but the titles of what's expected are on each page. And I expect every page to be filled. And that's it. That's how you use uh, this template on InDesign. And actually, all the templates that I'm going to give you are, are the same.